Hi, I'm Ryan from Limited RC. Today, we're going to go to the common topic of painting bodies. First, I started off by taking a proline body. We've washed it out with dish soap and water. I've already begun putting on some of the window masks. Very important you try to line it up as best as possible because this will make your window be clear after. This is a XXX main pre-cut mask. Doesn't look like it's pre-cut until we start peeling it apart. Best thing to do is rotate the mask in the light till you can see the cut marks. Get a very sharp X-Acto knife. Best to use a brand new blade, because if you don't have a brand new blade, I guarantee it's dull. And you pick from the corner, lift it up to get your finger underneath it, and start peeling it back. Now that we've weeded out all of our decals and got the designs that we want, there's another piece of paper that comes in the Triplex main mask, and that is pre-masking. What you gotta do is peel it off, and be very careful to not let it touch itself. Leave about half an inch of an outline all the way around, Put it down and start squeegeeing it out with your hand as you go. Once you've got three quarters of the page done, pull the rest of the page off and you've now pre-masked your decals. There's two common ways to paint them. One being to paint it untrimmed like this one is here. Another way is to trim the body out, put it on the car, mark for your post holes, mark for a cooling head on a nitro car and an air hole for a nitro car. For this body here, we already have pre-marked post holes and it's going on a truck that it's designed for, so we don't have a problem. We can cut it out after. Now that your decals are all weeded, pre-mask is applied and they're ready to go on. I like to take a permanent marker. I like to go down the center of the hood on the body just to mark as a guide point. Now that that's marked, you can grab your center piece. Now, when you start to peel it, you may notice that your pre-mask might go along with it. That's okay, just push it back on. Sometimes you gotta get it on a flat table. If you roll the back side of the masking off, it stays on there. If you have a flat surface on a body, you can use your gift card again to push it down. But because we've got some creases in here, you need your fingers to get in there to push it all down. Take the corner of your mask, and again, like you rolled it off from the backing, roll it off again. Now that our mask is on, very important you look at it in the light. You can see some lighter air bubbles. That's where the mask hasn't sealed to the body yet. You may not be able to get them down with your fingers. That's where our next tip comes in. On a low setting with a heat gun, because you could damage the body if you have it on high, very carefully just go over the mask a couple times. Now that that's all down, you don't want to have the grill showing like that. This is where your masking tape comes in. Any kind of masking tape will do. So if you want to carry it on from the full side, you can. Or if you just want to carry it down a little bit, Hey, feel free to do that as well. We're going to choose a paint. For this one, I'm going to use Fast Color. I can paint it inside because it's non-toxic and it's water-based. Easy to clean up. And if you have any mistakes you make, you can erase them with water on a Q-tip or a rag and keep on going. Now that you've got your first coat done, feel free to take your hair dryer or your heat gun. Go over it. As you can see, the paint's kind of shiny right now. Once it's dry, it should be a matte finish. And that's what you want to see. These are stencils that you can get from my water. They're reusable. You can add detailed touches to your paint job. You can even use them standalone for your paint job. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw some skulls into the tip of the flames. Once we fill that in with the final color, it should really pop. Now remember, it's always better to start with something simpler than something complex. I'd recommend painting your body first with no masks at all. Do it one color, get your windows masked off, throw your decals on it, it'll still look nice, but it'll be simple, it'll be easy, and it'll be a customized touch that you can brag to your buddies about. Thank you very much, and see you later. Now it's time for the Big Boys Cool Toys Tech Tip of the Week. 
Hi, this is Big Boy's Tech Tip of the Week. Today we have Don, our local hobby uh, tech for Hellies, with us, and he's going to show us how to balance these blades out. All right, Don, let's uh, get started and show us what we need to balance these blades out. Okay, uh, we first off we have to balance the blade uh, so that it, find the center of gravity of the blade and match them so that they are exactly the same. Get our balance theme, and we have a bubble balance, and we see which way. Remove it until we get a blade approximately in the center. Or you can pick up this device. You can pick it up at any, any local any, hobby store. Any local hobby store. And we'll mark, we have a little mark there Perfect. for the center. And do the same to the other one. Same to the other one. So mark that. And the, now we check two blades. So now that we've got our two blades balanced in the center, okay. So now what we have to do is weigh them and check that they are the same weight. And since we have the two um, balance points of the blades exactly the same, when we want to add weight to the blade to match them, we add it right at the center of gravity of the blade. So now we've got our two, two matched blades. We'll take our two pieces of tape, which we've used for tracking. We'll put those on, on the tips and the, the blades will now be ready for installation on a helicopter. And then we can take it up in the air and, and continue check the further tracking. tracking. Yep. Very great. Okay, well that was Big Boy's uh, Tech Tip of the Week this week. Hopefully you can join us next week and we'll see you then.